Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and the trigger point of the week this week is the trapezius muscle. Uh, trapezius, very large muscle. Um, let's uh, do a 3D search and see if we can find it. Um, in terms of sort of mid-back, sort of interscapular pain, there are sort of many muscles that can present with a, a kind of pain map, uh, but we're gonna look here specifically at the trapezius muscle. So really we divide it into three sets of fibers, the upper, the middle, and the lower. Uh, in terms of uh, anatomy, the, the origin of the muscle is the sort of middle third uh, of the superior nuchal line, uh, and it extends ac across the occiput and runs all the way down into the, in, in, into the protuberance and all the way down uh, to the seventh cervical vertebrae. Uh, from there, it goes all the way down to T11, T12, and comes back up again, as you can see, along the spine of the scapula uh, and anteriorly into some of the scapula, uh, into some of the clavicle fibers as well. It's a dome-shaped muscle, um, fascinating muscle when we do a kind of pincer technique because we can often get these anterior uh, fibers here, which uh, in my experience often uh, cause huge twitch responses or, or have a lot of trigger points along here. In terms of innervation, uh, the spinal accessory nerve, so one of the cranial nerves, um, important because certainly when I was at college, one of the things we used to talk about was that it's an emotional muscle, so that it's this kind of muscle that lifts the shoulders up towards the ears, and if there's any sort of emotional overload, uh, we tend to feel, believe that possibly we can get a kind of almost like a dumping of, of sort of emotional symptoms into this muscle. Certainly uh, when you've palpated quite a few of them, you can feel the, the tense neck and shoulders. Now interesting uh, muscle in terms of trigger points, uh, florid trigger points, fairly easy to palpate, he says. Um, there's some debate, I'm having a debate uh, on Facebook at the moment whether the uh, palpation is an illusion or not. Moving on, um, uh, because many of the other trigger point pain maps are contained within the trapezius, so it's also kind of a global pain map, especially for headaches. So one of the real key muscles for headaches to look at is the trapezius muscle, especially the sort of middle vertical upper fibers. Look at this pain map here, uh, pain above the, in the temple, of uh, lancinating pain around the sort of temple area, behind the ear, and somewhat into the jaw. The middle or ipsilateral fibers uh, will tend to cause pain around the periscapular or interscapular border, uh, either sort of faintly around the scapula itself or into this kind of uh, interscapular zone where we see the rhomboids and serratus posterior superior uh, in terms of differential diagnosis. Large, superficial muscle, uh, also uh, used to retract the shoulders and, and stabilize the shoulder as well. Um, in terms of the, the upper trapezius, um, this again is a classic trapezius map. So we see someone coming in with pain, stiffness in the neck, and pain radiating all the way down the sort of uh, angle of the, the, the neck and into the shoulder itself, an absolute classic. Um, a muscle that's vulnerable certainly to momentum-induced injuries like a whiplash, uh, a muscle that, we, as we said before, that's very much connected emotionally, uh, if there's sort of emotional or sort of psycho-emotional states going on, uh, and a muscle that is um, also, because it's superficial and because it's so large, can compensate for weaknesses in other muscles such as uh, shoulder sort of dyskinesis dysfunction, rotator cuff weakness, and, and other sort of periscapular weakness, uh, serratus anterior weakness, you know, long thoracic nerve lesions, uh, testicles weakness, and the, the trapezius will overload trying to stabilize the joint because it's so large and superficial and covers such a large area. So uh, that's the trigger point of the week this week, the trapezius muscle, upper, middle, and lower fibers. I hope you found that interesting and look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. Thank you.